Okay, well, hey guys, it's Nixus, and we're playing more Subnautica. Now, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Uh, let's start with the bad news. As you can see, save game is, out is outdated because they have updated the game. Um, so they th that leads to the good news, kind of, which is the Aurora is now explorable. Uh, bad news, though, we're going to lose all of our stuff, um, which is really really sad but in order to actually see the new terrain that's outside the crash site we need a new save game uh and that's just sort of how early access goes so um uh, this episode is going to be kind of just sort of reacclimating. i'll probably keep a lot of the i guess material finding to a minimum um, but maybe if we get lucky, we'll get to go over closer to the crash site and see some new stuff. So, we'll see. Um, anyway, see you guys in game. Oh, wow. Textures are a little bit lower. I might have to fix with, mess with that a little bit. Um, but I was the only one who survived. I, I don't understand that. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Okay, they've changed this up a little bit. Oh, I like it. And you can see all the stuff now, all the recipes. Oh, they've listened. Brilliant. Uh, water, ooh, filtered water and disinfected water. Huh, a lasting water source. Interesting. And then obviously food, uh, got equipment, tank, fins, first aid kit, re rebreather. Ignore depth and environment breathing effects. Interesting. Uh, radiation suit, which uh, I think we're going to need the radiation suit to actually get close to the Aurora. So that might be one of the first things we go for. Uh, flashlight, knife, dive reel, bunch of stuff we've already got. Sea glide, the constructor, a beacon. Okay, so we... Uh, most of that's pretty much the same. It's just the way it looks. Yeah, I might have to... Ooh, looks pretty out here still. All right, let's take a look around. Wait, <gasps> Gary's not here. Oh no, oh, I'm so angry. Swim to the sur- oh. Ten seconds of oxygen <laughs> oh, I see that we've still got her telling us what to do. Oh well, it is what it is, you know? Where's Gary? What have you done with Gary? Give him back to me. <gasps> Gary, oh, I missed you. Your brother, not so much. I just, there's only one Gary. Oh, I'll take two Garys. He, he swam in the way. He really wanted to be the Gary. Oh, look at my shadow. Oh, it was just like a little stick guy. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. You know, it's almost... I hate losing the Cyclops, especially after all that work we went through to get it. But at the same time, there's something... I don't know. There's something kind of cool about getting... A new start you know you're back sort of at the beginning you're trying to survive all you have is your escape pod and all these fish swimming around you just got to get your scrap metal and sort of go for it I don't know there's something about it I like oh and the stalkers are still here great great that's one guy that I really wanted to see again I mean I, I didn't have an expectation that he'd be gone or anything but uh, that oh you well, let's see if you drop a tooth. If you drop a tooth, I'm picking that shit up right now. Uh... I don't see any. Again, I'm probably blind and I miss a lot of these teeth. No! Oh, screw off! I don't need you! I don't need your sass! Wait, is that... Oh, that's limestone. Wow, you are persistent today, aren't you? <gasps> tooth! Two teeth! Wow, you guys are being generous. Give me that one. Three teeth? Good grief! What is, what is going on here? Suddenly teeth everywhere. No, stop it. Okay, I'm going to need five teeth eventually. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because, I mean, come on. It's just, uh, it's just getting ahead of ourselves. 
I need to remember, too, I don't have my oxygen tank, so... Like, I could probably build one right now if I wanted. Which, honestly, I might... Oh, you son of a bitch! Get away from me! Oh! Wow! Okay. Okay. Ugh. That was a lot more painful than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Well, then. That's... Mm, you some bitch. I just want that thing. Wow. Uh, sheesh. I don't know how... Honestly, I don't know how I heal. I don't know if it's eating or if it's just over time. I'm not sure what it is. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably eating. Oh, you stay away from me. No, 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 no. Uh, come on. Not dealing with that. Oh, crap. Try filtered water. Oh! Okay, I think that was a stalker hitting us. You stay out of my lawn, you stupid kids. You said knock it off. Stop it. Where if you do that again, I'm turning you and your stupid brother into sushi. Using your blood as soy sauce. Oh, I see you. I see you, Jeremy. Now you get back here. I'm gonna call your parents later. No stalkers around. Okay. Oh, that's that's different. The little blip is uh, in the shape of the escape pod now. That's cool. See, I really like these developers. They they make changes fairly frequently, but they're also really practical changes. They're the kinds of things that uh, you know are really useful. Things that I mean. Not everyone would even think about normally. Okay, here's a tank. Good. You coming at me, bro? Oh, I'll fight ya. I'll fight you off, you some bitch. Oh, you wouldn't want to fight. Ah, scrap metal. Wait, do I need? Oof! Oh gosh, no! No, 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 no! Back, back away, back away! I'm not afraid to cut you. That's right. Jeez, I didn't want the scrap metal that bad. You can have it for all I care. When's my health gonna go back up? Ugh. This is, in some ways, a very good start. In other ways, a very, very rocky start. It's not like I haven't gotten hurt before. I should know how to heal myself. I just don't. Copper. Yes, that's what I wanted. Hello. I still don't know what you're for. If I can eat you, or if I just need to kill you. There's the floaters. Oh, the family's all back together again. Again, that's super helpful. That bear's repeating. Super helpful blip is super helpful. There we go. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Let's see here. Are you doing a dance for me there? Little manatee buddy. I don't actually know what he's called. Ooh, copper. Wow, copper's uh, not too hard to find in this one. At least not in the early stages. Ugh, I miss my flippers, though. Might have to get those soon, too. I'll get some quartz on the way back, and I'll make some silicone for some flippers. I think I need two silicone. Not too bad. It's just four quartz. Easy to find, easy to manage. Suggest erratic what? fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment field. Uh, a breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. Oh, okay. Quantum flux detonation. That sounds uh detrimental to my health. That's the nice way to put it, yeah. Alright, let's get some more copper, please. Uh, titanium, I'll take it. It's early enough in the game. I'll take it. There's no reason not to. As long as I don't fill up my packs. Oh, I need, also need to get more quartz. Keep it to yourself. God, this guy's yelling in public, farting in public. Just really not very concerned about what other people are thinking or doing. There's a lot more fish, though. That's one thing I'm noticing. There is a lot more wildlife. Which is really cool. I mean, for one thing, it helps people survive a lot earlier on in the game. Uh, you know, it's easy to find salt. It's easy to find... Oh, I think that's the cave. 
Uh, sorry. It's easy to find salt. It's easy to find food and fish and, you know, air sacs for water. So I think that's a really good change. And it also uh, just makes the world feel that much more alive. I think once you start moving out into the deeper areas of the ocean, that's when it can sort of be a little bit more sparse, bigger creatures that are more dangerous, and then fewer of the small fish. Yes, more copper. I think I just need one more, honestly. Oh, no, I've got enough for two batteries, I think. I think. Oh, damn it, I can't remember now. Oh, <laughs> why can't I remember at the times when it matters most? Because I've got my power cell. Power cell, good to go. Boom. Done. And a titanium ingot, which I needed for... Was it for the sea glide that I needed that? Or the constructor? I think I needed it for the constructor. Let's take a look. Uh, tools, machines. Yes, the constructor. Boom! Hello, my friend. You and I are going to have some fun. Sea moth. Wow. Uh, ooh. I've already got the titanium. I've already got the copper ore. Two glass and a power cell for the sea moth? Hell yes, we're doing that first. We are doing that right now. Okay, let's find copper. Copper is going to be the tricky, yes. It's going to be the trickiest part. Oh, wow. I lied. Copper is going to be easy. Okay, I need the power cell. Power cell requires... Two batteries. Oh, keep it to yourself. Oh. Oh. Dude. Ugh. Did you have bacon today? Yeah, the new Oculus Rift is going to have uh, smelling technology as well as being able to look around and see things. Okay, seriously though, I want to know about this medical stuff. Ugh, I might have to look that up soon. Okay. Uh, electronics, a battery. It's just, wait. It's just the one. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. So it's one copper ore for a battery now. I think it used to be two. I could be wrong about that, but I think it used to be two. So I need two glass, which is four quartz. And I need one more silicone, which is two quartz. So I need six quartz. If I go back in this editing file and find out that I did my math wrong, I apologize. Adding two and four together should be pretty simple, even whenever you're thinking about other things. You'd be surprised, actually, whenever you're... Readings from the Aurora. What? Exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the dark matter containment field. Uh-huh. Spikes in quantum fluctuations suggest an uncontrolled cascade detonation will occur with a probability of 83.5%. Resonance cascade? Replying Half-Life? Why am I why am I getting uh, copper? I don't need copper right now. I need quartz. Oh, see that's what happens whenever I'm trying to think of too many things at once. I do dumb things, very dumb things. Well, I guess there are dumber things than picking up the wrong resource that's going to help you anyway. But Ugh, shut up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, Ugh. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> you bet your ass I'm going back down there. Friggin' volcanoes? What? Yes, please. Whoa. I have a horrible feeling that'll hurt me if it touches me. Okay, I think that's four. That's five. Great. Well, further proving that my uh, counting abilities are not uh, up to the fifth grade level yet. Oh, I should go up. I'm probably gonna get blasted by hot liquid in my face. Okay, good. Ooh, there's the quartz. Actually, 
Does that mean that I now have enough to make a sea moth? Sea moth. Oh, whatever. Okay. <gasps> yes. Oh yeah. And as the sun sets over the vast sea, blue lights lit up the sky, and a beautiful, small, one-man submersible dropped down into the depths. And it has its own blinky-boo now. So now I can't lose my sea moth. It's like they watched my video. Pro probably, probably not. They didn't. I don't think they did. Sweet. Oh, sea moth, we have it. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a strange emotion, something akin to joy, perhaps. Emergency readings from the Aurora show severe instability in the primary drive core. Uh, okay. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. Ten, okay. Nine, eight. Oh. Seven. Uh. Six. Um. Five. What's what's going on? Four, uh. Uh. Hole? Oh! <gasps> what? I died! <laughs> At least it spawned me quick enough that I could see the explosion. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh man. I think I'd seen a couple of, like, screenshots of that happening. I didn't realize that that was already in, though. Ah, oh, that's so cool! Oh, I'm excited! Okay, so we're gonna go over there as soon as we possibly can. Let's get my Cyclops. Okay, I've got the blueprint. I'm gonna need to get Plasteel ingots. Uh, I'm gonna need the enameled glass and an advanced wiring kit. Um, enameled glass, oddly enough, is gonna be the easiest part. This was a pretty good place for both silver and gold. So, ooh. Okay, hello there. What are you? No, no, you, you stay over there. That's fine. I, I'm totally fine doing this from a distance. Whoa. That guy's cool looking. Like, really, really cool looking. Oh, he's gonna sneak up behind me and get me cold. Yes. Okay. Am I good? Am I good? Am I good? Uh. Oh, I'm not good. Oh, this is risky. This is risky. Oh, it's gold, too. Oh, it's gold. Uh, you back off, back off, back off. Get in. Yes. Whew. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Ah, oh, that's so freaky, but so cool at the same time. Go, woo! I hear something, I'm not turning. Woo! I thought it might be you. Back off. <laughs> oh, just when I thought you wouldn't be aggressive. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. I would say that was a mission accomplished, though. Well done, me. Pat on the back. Well, I'd say we made a bunch of progress during this episode, so I think we're gonna leave it off here. Uh, got a lot done a lot more to see. I'm really excited to go to that ship, so I think in the next episode I'm going to try and finish my Cyclops. Uh, oh, tall order. Finish the Cyclops, uh, hopefully get a radiation suit, and maybe, maybe start making our way over to the Blast Wreckage and take a look inside the ship. So, yeah, tall order, but I think we can do it. Uh, so, as always, you stay beautiful, and you stay tuned because more Subnautica is on the way here at Nixus Games. See you later.